Hello friends in previous video I have show you how fetch JSON data by using PHP but now I show you how to load JSON data from file using jQuery Ajax get JSON method. Friends JSON is smaller than corresponding XML and it is faster, its syntax is very simple and it can easier parsing. Friends this is simple JSON data file with name video, in which I have store video title name in this file. In this file there is one key which is video title and value is name of video. I have saved this file into my working folder. Now I want to load this data on my web page. Friends this is my PHP in which I have used JavaScript library jQuery and Bootstrap CSS framework. In this video I illustrates when user click on button then at that time data must be load on web page. For this first I have define HTML button with name load video list JSON data. In button attribute of class is equal to b10 b10 info which is bootstrap CSS class. I want load data into table format. For this I have defined one table with class name is equal to table table bordered. This is a bootstrap CSS class. With help of this class table will display with border. I want hide this table and only when user click on button then at that time it will display. For this I have set style property like display none. After this I have defined one table row for display heading with video title. For this I have write open and close table row and between this I have write table heading open and close table and between this tag I have write video title. Now friends out HTML part is ready. Now I want to load video title JSON data into this table by using jQuery Ajax get JSON method. So I have moved to jQuery code part. First I have define open and close script tag for writing jQuery code. I will write jQuery code between this two tag. In jQuery code part first I have write dollar document dot ready event. In this I have defined one anonymous function. This code means when whole page complete loaded in browser then ready event occurs and whichever code is right under function is ready. Friends I want to load data when user click on button, so I have write dollar button with click event with one one anonymous function. So whenever user click on button then whichever code right under function will execute. Friends first I want to display table which I have hide by style property display none, for this I have write dollar table dot show method. Show method shows hidden HTML element. Now friends I have moved to use jQuery Ajax get JSON method, for this I have simply write dollar dot get JSON method. In this method first parameter is URL. In URL I have defined link of JSON data file so I have simply write video.json file which I have stored into my working folder and second if callback function that is executed if the request succeeds and send back data to user. Now friends callback functions receives the JSON data which I have stored into data in my video. Now friends I have used dollar dot each method which iterate through all the objects present in our JSON file and then split them into associative array format like key and value pair. After this friends I have simply print data into table for this I have write dollar table selector with append method. In append method I have write open and close table row tag and between table row tag I have write open and close table data tag. Between table tag I have write to concatenation operator and between operator I have write value dot video title because we want to display video title in table. So I have write value dot video title. Now friends save the page and check out what in browser.
so friends when I have click on button data simply load into table. Friends JSON data is very light you can improve your website loading speed with help of using JSON data. This is my video on how to fetch JSON data by using jQuery Ajax get JSON method. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.